welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, July 21st, and I'm having some photos done in a couple hours. So I just thought I would take a few moments and give you a little update on how the last couple weeks has been going for me. Um, I did mention in my last vlog that I was doing some things to prepare for this photo shoot, so I just wanted to update you on that. And then after that, I want to talk about my new uh, strength and physique and training goals that I'm really excited about. All right, so if you watched my last video from three weeks ago, you might remember that it was my intention to eat in a slight caloric deficit for a couple weeks in order to just to lean out a tiny, tiny bit. And the reason for this is, look, I know that I'm already lean and I don't need to lose weight, um, but I've been working really hard for the last year or so at building strength and muscle in my lower body, especially my glutes. And I really just wanted my muscles to be a bit more defined for the photo. Photos. These are fitness style photos, so it's pretty normal to want to look jacked, <laughs> jacked and tan, and this is why I got a spray tan, obviously, in the photos. So <clears throat> it's like, okay, I'll just lean out a tiny little bit and then my muscles will just pop and blah, blah, blah. But I ended up not doing that because I've been training really hard over the last month, well, like continuously, but over the last month especially, my strength in my glutes has gone way up. I've really been adding a lot of weight to the bar during my glute bridges and my hip thrusts, and it's been so exciting. And when I tra when you train like that, it's really counterproductive to be dieting or eating in a deficit because you're not gonna get stronger, you're not gonna build muscle if you're not eating enough. And when I was thinking about what's more important, getting stronger, building muscle, or getting super shredded for this photo shoot, I thought, ah, oh, I wanna get stronger, I wanna keep building muscle, and I'm, like, since I'm already lean, it doesn't really matter, and then I was like, hmm, I'll just get a spray tan, and it'll be fine, it'll be perfect. So that's what I did. So yeah, I didn't lose any weight, I didn't get any leaner, if anything, I think my butt has gotten bigger just over the last couple of weeks when I've been taking butt selfies. I've been noticing, like, damn, my ass is getting really big and it's awesome. Some people, like my friend Megan, even thinks that it's too big, but I'm not gonna listen to her. <laughs> but anyways, let me show you my big ass and my spray tan, and then I need to start getting ready and putting on makeup and stuff for this photo shoot. All right, so here is what I'm looking like today. I do have some ab definition. And I've been doing lots of uh, chin-ups and pull-ups lately, so I feel like my arms are getting bigger too. I really don't have a problem getting shredded and showing definition in, in my upper body. It is more my lower body that I um, struggle with a little bit to uh, build muscle and show definition. But if you see my butt, it is... Um, it's definitely gotten bigger over the last couple months. I'll do a little Nikki B flexing. <laughs> but yeah, I am happy with the developments that I've been seeing in my glutes and my legs. All right, so that is enough narcissism for one day. And I think that now I'm gonna do my hair and my makeup and after that, I will sit down and talk to you guys about my new strength and fitness goals and where I'm gonna go with my training from here. All right, hair and makeup is done. And I just wanted to show you the outfit that I'm wearing for the photos because I freaking love it, love it so much. It's from Lululemon and uh, the bottoms are the Align pant and the top, I forget what the top is, but if you look at the website, it's on there. I think it's it should be on there because I got it uh, relatively recently, so yeah. All right, so I wanna talk about my current fitness routine and how it's gonna be changing a little bit going forward because I've got some new goals, I've got some new inspiration, and I'm really, really excited about it. So over the last year, I've been focusing mainly on weightlifting and I've been doing about four lifting workouts per week at the gym plus one hit workout per week, which, um, I don't do extra HIIT workouts anymore. The only time I do HIIT workouts is when I'm filming a video for YouTube, which 
uh, before I started this weightlifting thing, I would be doing multiple HIIT workouts per week. Uh, so over the last year and a half, yeah, it's been about four days of weightlifting at the gym plus one day of HIIT. And I've been following uh, the program that Denise came up with that won her her um, her pro card, her bikini pro card last year. And this is the actual program that the weightlifting book that she and I are releasing in August, uh, that's what that program is. It's her program that she got her pro card with and that I have been training. And if you've been watching me over the last couple year, years, you'll see that my body has transformed and uh, that's what I've been doing. I've been doing her program. And yeah, it's coming out in August and the name of it is gonna be Make Tight, Feel Right and I'm so stoked. So yeah, that's exciting. But more about that later. Anyways, I've really been enjoying this routine and I've really gotten stronger and I've seen great results. Like I'm just really happy with my body and just how I feel and yeah, but I have to say, I have to admit that over the last couple months, I've been getting a little bit bored of it. Well, not bored, but I'm just less excited to do my lifting workouts. Um, and I think it's because I need a new challenge. I need a change. And I've just, I've been really inspired by um, certain people on Instagram that I follow who do calisthenics. And I've decided that I really wanna get stronger at body weight type exercises. So I've set some new goals for myself. And within a year, I know a year is a long time and I'm sure I'll be able to get it before a year, but I don't like to make my goals like to I don't want to stress about my goals so I just want to be like okay in a year this is what I want to do I want to be able to do muscle ups and I want to be able to do handstands and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to do handstands like pretty quickly but muscle ups might take a bit longer um, currently I can already do about four pull ups I can do about five chin ups um, I can kind of do an L sit for like a few seconds and yeah I want to be able to do pull over uh, eventually I want to learn how to tumble I want to do I just want to do cool shit on the bars that just looks really fun um, I follow this girl on Instagram called Lynn Slay uh, I'll leave her Instagram in the description box but yeah my friend Drew in Hawaii showed me her Instagram a few months ago and I was like oh my gosh this stuff looks so fun it looks badass like I wanna do something that looks this fun. So that's kind of the direction that I'm heading in. So going forward, I'm still gonna be lifting, um, but I'm only gonna be, I think I'm only gonna be lifting probably twice a week in the gym. And I'm really just gonna be focusing on the main lifts, squats, deadlifts, hip thrusts, and glute bridges. And I'm not really gonna do any upper body stuff at the gym. Uh, I don't, I already don't really do too, too much upper body stuff at the gym but I have been you know, having random upper body days here and there where I'm doing like chest pet flies or pet whatever. I'm just doing upper body stuff. Um, it's not gonna do that anymore. So what I'm, I think I'm gonna do is, you know, two about two days of lifting at the gym and then two to three days of kind of like short calisthenics types workout, type workouts, where I'm just working on the skills that I want to um, master, which I already mentioned. Hand, the first two things that I'm gonna focus on are handstands and muscle ups. And in order to do muscle ups, you have to have, you know, 10 solid pull ups. That's what the tutorials that I've been watching on YouTube say. And so I need to work my way up to that. And for handstands, um, I can already do a pretty good forearm stand. Like I can kick up without a wall most of the time and hold it for a good, you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So I've already been progressing at that. So the next stage for me is to do handstands. So yeah, I'm still gonna focus on building mass and strength in my lower body because I do enjoy that. Uh, but I just think, I just feel like I've been focusing on it a bit too much and it's just, or not too much, I just, I'm just kind of tired of focusing on that and I want to focus on something else, something super fun. And I just really think that being able to do cool stuff on the bars, uh, like pullovers, hip circles, just twirling around and playing on the bars, it just looks like so much fun and that's what I want my fitness to be. I want it to be fun. I don't want it to be only aesthetically driven. Of course, I do enjoy the aesthetic, uh, 
part of training, but I also, I really want my training to be more focused on getting super strong and mobile and just having the ability to do really cool shit with my body. Cause you know, what if there's a zombie apocalypse? It's going to be a very good skill to be able to climb stuff and pull my body weight up. Like, you know, <laughs> I don't know why I'm always thinking about zombie apocalypses, but yeah, I just want to be super fit and agile and I just want my body to be able to do anything. Like I just want to be like a super woman. You know what I mean? I don't want to just be able to lift heavy shit, which is cool, but I also want to be nimble. I just want to be acrobatic, you know? And as for my nutrition, I haven't been eating in a caloric surplus for a while. I think, yeah, it was in January when I kind of stopped eating in a surplus and went back to eating around maintenance. And there have been periods of time since January that I have been eating in a slight deficit. As you probably noticed, I have gotten a bit leaner over the last six months than I was the previous year. So I want to really focus on, again, like getting stronger and building more muscle. So I'm going to go back into a lean bulk, which I'm super excited about. And, um, so as I figured out, my maintenance calories are around 2,400. They might even be higher, like 2,500 because yeah, I think I might've underestimated my maintenance calories because there was a few days when I tried to eat 2,000 calories. It just, it didn't happen. Like I can't, it 2,000 calories for me even just seems like so little. Even eating 2,200 calories is, is me kind of like really holding myself back from how much I actually want to eat. So I think that my maintenance is probably up around 24, 2500. So I'm going to put myself back into a uh, slight caloric surplus. I'm going to aim to eat between 25 and 2800 calories per day. I'll probably have some days where I go over 3000. Maybe I'll have a few days where I'm under 2500, but I'm not really going to be tracking. I have tracked enough that I know that my natural appetite is to eat around 2500 calories. And so when I just eat what I want to eat, and then I put everything into chronometer, it's con very consistent that I'm eating around 2,500 calories. So I'm gonna just go back to doing that and if I wanna eat a tiny bit extra, then I will uh, do that as well. I'm not gonna be tracking my calories on a consistent basis because I know how much I eat and I know I know how much I need to eat and I, I know how much of this and that I need to eat to get enough protein. So I'm not, I'm just not going to really track. I, I'll track on the days when I do what I eat in a day videos. Cause it's kind of interesting and it is good to kind of check in every few weeks or once a month or whatever and see, okay, am I actually hitting the amount of calories that I want to hit, you know, just for my own peace of mind. But on a day to day, day to day basis, I'm not going to be entering my stuff into my fitness pal or chronometer or whatever, just because it takes so long and it's kind of annoying and and you know if I was one of these people who really struggled to get enough calories so if I had like a really small appetite or whatever and I was like oh I need to eat 2700 calories in order to gain muscle and strength but it's hard or I don't know how to do that then I would track and it is helpful to track when you're coming from a place of not really knowing or not being able to eat enough. It is helpful to track to make sure you are. But once you've gotten into a pattern and you know how much you need to eat and you don't have a problem with it, then yeah, you don't always need to track. I mean, it's fun to track sometimes, but yeah, I'm not, it won't be a regular thing anyways. <laughs> so anyways, I think that's it for now. That's all I wanted to say. I'm really excited to share my progress with you on the skills that I want to learn. Um, I, there's a park near my house. Um, yeah, that has some uh, pull up bars, like an outdoor playground. So I'm gonna go check that out maybe later today or tomorrow and see. I'm gonna bring my bands. I'm gonna start doing workouts there. And yeah, I will try to film some, some of it. I definitely wanna share my journey on, I definitely wanna share my journey to getting my first pull up or my first muscle up and my first handstand and stuff. So I will incorporate that into my vlogs, I think, or make separate videos about it. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, I hope you're excited to watch. Maybe you'll be inspired to try to learn some of these skills along with me. I think it'd be super fun. 
and I'm excited to start bulking again, just get bigger, stronger, more of a badass. So yeah, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.